The Play Store is saturated with tons and tons of launchers. But there are some that really stand out and offer something unique and fresh than your typical Android launchers. These are three unique launchers that you should definitely try out. Now do keep in mind that some of these launchers are still in beta, so you'll have to go through a few steps or just follow the instructions in the respective Play Store pages. In no particular order, at number one is the Rovers launcher. Now Rovers is not your typical launcher. It's a launcher on top of your default launcher. What it essentially does is it places a floating rover, kind of like the Facebook bubble, on top of all your screens and apps. You can launch apps, shortcuts, create folders, and even execute actions easily from the rover no matter which screen you are or which app you are. Actions as the name suggests are one click actions direct, like direct call or direct messaging etc. The launcher features some basic settings for customizing the colors and orientation etc. But there are also some premium features which are available as in-app purchases. Overall, a very cool idea and a very useful launcher which lets you launch apps, shortcuts, etc. easily and much faster from anywhere on your phone. I would highly recommend checking Rovers. Moving on at number 2 is Flow Home. Now the developers of Flow have taken a completely new take on Android. Flow essentially replaces all your icons with tiles of feed from social media like photos from Instagram, tweets from Twitter, you get the point. The feed refreshes for a set interval of time or you can manually refresh by just pulling down the feed. You can like, retweet, share right from the home screen's feed. All your notifications are placed at the top of the feed, so you will never miss a notification. Deleting a tile is just a swipe away. You can also add widgets to the home screen or to the feed if you wish so. Now Flow does come with some predefined themes which are not a lot but it does the job. Now if you still want to access the some of the apps, you can still add apps to the quick access section at the bottom right. You do get your basic settings from changing wallpaper icons and also managing all your services like Facebook, Instagram, etc. in the settings. Now swiping to the right will reveal the app drawer. Even with the app search, I'm really not a big fan of vertical scrolling. Overall, a really fresh and new take on Android launchers I've personally ever seen. So if you're looking for something fresh, definitely check out Flow Home. They do give out invites quite often on their Twitter, so make sure to follow them if you really want to try it out. Last on my list is Microsoft's Arrow Launcher. Now when you hear that Microsoft has an Android launcher in closed beta, the first thing that would come to our mind is okay fine, it's going to be a live tiles kind of a launcher. But no, Microsoft has given the Arrow Launcher a completely different look. When you launch the launcher for the first time, you will be welcomed to a very different layout than your typical Android launchers. Now the launcher itself has three screens in total. The home screen is divided into three sections. The recent apps at the top, frequently used, and the usual dock at the bottom from where you can launch apps using the app drawer. But what's different here is you can pull the dock to reveal the recent contact list, settings for the launcher, and also change wallpaper. Now when you swipe to the right, you got your people screen with all your recent and frequent contacts from where you can also launch the dialer and the contacts if you wish so. And swiping to the left gets you into the notes and reminders screen where obviously you can add your notes and reminders. The app drawer features a search which is nice but again I'm not a really big fan of vertical app list even though they are in alphabetical order. Overall, it's a different take on an Android launcher by Microsoft. It's based more on learning how you use your phone and apps 
and adjusting accordingly by bringing up apps and contacts directly onto your home screen. So if you are bored with the usual Android launchers and want to try out something different, then definitely check out Arrow Launcher. The links to all the launchers are available in the description below the like button. What do you guys think of these launchers? Have they got your attention? Share it by leaving a comment below. My name is Adi. I'll see you guys in the next video.